Hey guys, what's up? Multi PS Game here again, and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Now, before I start this video, I have two things to say. The first thing, I apologize for the lack of videos of just basically every video. Uh, a lot of people have been commenting, asking for more M Creator uh, tutorials and special tutorials, but for some reason, my M Creator with the new 1.8 versions was not recompiling anything I made. It's just an error every time, and I, I couldn't fix it. It I probably haven't done anything uh, with YouTube with M Creator in probably a month just because of that situation. Um, and I finally found something on the internet. It said if the um, latest one, uh, M Creator version for 1.8 are not working for you, go back to the latest M Creator version that worked very well for you, or at least where you were at least able to do stuff. And for me, that was sort of the early 1.8, but it was the latest 1.7. So we're back to 1.7, but it's okay because everything that's being done that I'm going to do in 1.7, you're able and capable to do in 1.8. There may be a, some, a couple things that you can't do in 1.7 that you can do in 1.8, but otherwise everything that I'm going to do, or at least try to do, is going to be for 1.7 and 1.8 in this version of 1.7. So... Now let's get underway with the video. Uh, I haven't been asked, no, I have been asked a lot of questions uh, after that answering questions video on how to make something or how to fix something. One of the videos, or not, not the, blah, 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 I can speak. One of the comments was, can you make a weapon? That's what I'm doing in this video. Next video, I'm going to just make a video on how to add events. It's going to be a real quick video. I'm not going to show every single event. But I'm going to show events. Um, I, I usually try to show events every video just to help you guys out because I know events can be tricky, especially in 1.8 since events aren't working. Um, but as you, can see, as, you can see, as you can see, I did a test right here. Um, but we're just going to make a new weapon. So you're going to want to go to Tool. Well, first you're going to go to your Workspace and create a new element, Tool, and name it whatever you want the weapon to be. So we're going to name it. Intel, just because I saw a sticker and I'm just like, okay, I don't know how to name it, so let's just name it Intel. So, obviously, you're gonna have to have a tool texture, and to get a tool texture, all you have to do is import a item texture. I have already imported a texture, so we're gonna use this texture just because I think the Thor hammers, the the meal in there is sexy. Oh God, sorry, Jaden. Um, but yeah, we're gonna use that. So, the next thing you want to do after you import the texture is hit next, obviously. And then name it GUI. What you want your item to be named. And what it's going to, uh, if you scroll over it in the, uh, say in survival, you just scroll over and see what the weapon name is, or how much durability, or how much damage it does. It's that, yeah. So, we're going to name it Intel Boss Man. A ton of random numbers. And then for the type, since we want a sword, uh, we obviously switch to sword. Harvest level, you don't have to worry about anything. Efficiency, you really don't have to worry about it. Uh, enchantability, you want to always change it to 20. Always. Now, with damage versus mobs slash animals, you're going to want to have it... Uh, oh, basically, whatever the number is, add 4 to it. So right now it's 5. You want to add 4. So in the game, it will do 9 attack damage. And if you want it to do act like four attack damage, then you just do zero. If you want it to do a hundred attack damage, then you do ninety six. But we're gonna do let's have it have or let's have it in the game say ten attack damage. Um. So we're just gonna put six because we have to add four. Number of uses the max I think is a thousand. So obviously, if you want to have an awesome weapon, put it to a thousand. And you don't want that. You don't have to worry about blocks that destroys. Because I don't think you can even do anything with it. Nope. So I hit next. So now we're on to events. So I think for the event that we're going to do for when we right click in the air. It's going to be a lightning. And basically for lightning all you have to do is just click on it. And add event because you want lightning to strike wherever you want. Uh, now an event... 
when we right click on a block. Let's do an explosion. We're going to have it really big. We're going to have it of explosion of 12 or power of 12. Um, block when blocks destroy a tool. Yeah, we're not going to worry about that because it's not as cool. I mean, this could be cool, but we're not going to worry about that. So we're done with the events. And I just got a Skype message. Okay. Well. Uh, okay. Okay. People in my background need to shut up. They just need to shut up. Alright, so. Crafting. Where do you want it to smell? I want to be able to craft it. So to craft it, we're going to have... Oh my god. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, we're gonna have it logs, just logs, and then on top we'll have stone, or in the corners I should say, and then in the middle we're gonna have lapis if I can find it. Now we'll just have, I say black, no, oh, it's a block. Okay, we'll just have blue wool, and then basically you're done. So I'm gonna let this recompile, and I will be right back. All right. As you can see, we had a successful recompilation. No errors. Everything is perfect. Now let's go ahead and go back to Workspace. And then we're going to want to test this in Minecraft to just show off the awesomeness. You just want to click Start and Client Minecraft. And then it's going to open Minecraft. Um, I'm going to speed through. Okay, so we're back into the game. Or in the game, I should say. Now let's go to Combat. And this is Intel Boss Man 1892171893121. So we're going to want to go ahead and get it in our inventory. Oh god. And as you can see, we are holding it, weirdly, but we are holding it. Uh, and then if we right click in the air, it should strike lightning. And if you want the lightning to strike on the ground too, you're going to want to go ahead and put it to, uh, in the events, when you right click on a block, it'll strike lightning also. But we want it to explode. So, we got a large explosion, so let's see how big it is. Oh. And then let's test it out on a mob. What's a strong mob? Spawn. Let's kill a witch. Who likes witches? I don't like witches. Die! Okay. I don't know how much health she actually had, but let's, let's try another mob. Let's try a uh, zombie pigment. Oops, I just took the hand out of the inventory. <laughs> and then obviously you can just do that, so. Just, just say there's a ton of them right here. Oh, I hit you all. And now they're all dead. Maybe not. Okay, they're <laughs> trusty hammer can take them out. Alright, guys, that's about it for this Uncreated tutorial. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope it helped everybody. And I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Hope everybody has a great day. Talk to you later. Peace. Hello, you know.